Hi, this is the cockpit for the Class A Forest River FR330DS. We also have the 25DS, and if you had rented the 25, it'll be the same as this, except you will have just the dinette and not the sofa, and of course it's a little bit smaller. But all the operation will be the same. So we're going to go through and show you how to run this today. When uh, you stop at your campground, you'll stop and put your emergency brake on, and your leveling panel is here. Some of the places that you'll camp will be level and some won't, but if you need to level, what you're going to do is just hit your on off button here, hit the auto, and it's going to level for you. And when you come in to pick up your RV, we're going to go over that with you just so you can see how it works. There's a battery boost button up here. With that, you have a car battery to start your car and you have house batteries to run the house. If somehow you run down your car battery, this battery boost button will jump the two together to get you going. Everything else up here is pretty standard. You do have a button on the end for a tow haul button. If you're driving in the mountains, uh, you get going up the passes at about 40 to 45 miles an hour. This will shift down. When it shifts down automatically, we recommend just carefully pulling it down into three and pushing your tow haul button on. That way you'll be able to drive up the mountain at about 40 to 45, steady without it trying to shift up and down. And when you come down the mountain, even more important is that it will keep you from having to brake. So that'll keep you uh, slowed down enough that you shouldn't have to brake much. Uh, there is a backup camera on your radio system. We'll show you that when you come in. This unit has shades up here in the front. So you have a shade that you can uh, pull down and pull up. When the key is on, that shade will only go to that position so that you can't block your view, but at night when you want to go ahead and park, you can pull that shade all the way down to the top of the dash here, and then you have manual shades on the side that you can pull down to block off the entire front. Both the driver's seat and the passenger seat up front will recline and they'll swivel to be recliners as part of your living room. So we'll go on back. We'll check out uh, the back main section of the RV where our control panel is. We'll show you the slides and then we'll come back up and do the front bed. So let's go back to the middle. Our Class A FR3s have a bed above the uh, driver and passenger seat that can pull down uh, to be a bed at night. The nice thing about this bed is that it comes down here to a level you'll see where we can still rotate these uh, recliners around to be part of the living room. So what you do is just grab this in the middle, give it a firm pull down off of these large magnets that keep it up here, keep it from rattling. And then we've got the switch on the wall right here that says raise lower. So you're just going to press the lower and you're going to lower that bed just all the way down. Just hold that button down and it'll come all the way down. Once this bed gets all the way down, it's flat, you just lay it out. And it's good until you're ready to put it back up. Once you hear that motor stop, you just release the button and adjust your cushions. When you're ready to put it back up, you do the same thing. Just pop that cushion over just a little bit, set it in there, and raise it back up. Just hold it on the raise button until it gets back up to the place where that motor stops again. Once that motor stops, you want to be sure to let go of the button. And once it gets that high, it'll be just a couple inches down from those magnets and you just lift up the edge of the bed again to fasten it to the magnets. Hold it up out of your way. Hear that motor stop, let go. Lift it back up to the magnets and it's secure to go again. Now let's go check out the mid part of the coach. We're back here in the center of the FR3. That's where the control panel is for your uh, entire coach. At the top here, you have tiny little buttons that you press and the lights will light up. So your propane, your battery, your water, your dump tanks all have gauges that you can check from inside by simply pressing the little button. You have a water heater and you have your water pump all right here in the middle. So anytime you're going to use your onboard water, you're going to have your pump on. If you hook up to a hose at the campground, then you don't need your pump. You still will need 
your uh, water heater. There's also a switch here to start your generator. Just hold down the start until your generator starts. The thing you need your generator for is your air conditioning, your microwave, and your outlets. That's the only thing you need that for, and you only need the generator if you're not plugged in at the campground. The other two switches here are for your slide. You have a main slide and a bed slide with just an in and an out button. So you just hold down the out button and you slide this all the way out. Once it gets all the way out, just let go of the button. Just hold that button down. We're changing this thing from a motorhome to an apartment all of a sudden. Gives us all kinds of space in here with these big slides in the A. This is the FR30. The 25 has a dinette and a wardrobe instead of a sofa. So this one has the sofa. The sofa there has a couple of foot rests. The one thing to know about the foot rest on these is that when you put this foot rest out, you can't just push down on it to get it in. You pull it up just slightly to get that to snap back in. And then you have your high to bed underneath, of course. This table comes right off the legs. These legs just come out of the floor and it lays right on the rails here on both sides, the table does. And these cushions there and there's one extra cushion that'll be in your bedroom that fits in the middle there to make your other bed. So you have all this seating right across from a big TV right here in the living room. You're not looking up to the front to view the TV. And that's right here in the middle. It's also a cabinet for you. So there's cabinet space in behind it. You've got your stereo system here with your DVD player, full kitchen, your stove in here. All you do is you turn on your burner to light, put the spark to light that. If you're going to use the oven, this sparker does not light the oven. You turn the oven on to pilot, hold this in, and then you have to reach in and manually light it about two-thirds of the way back. There's a little thermocouple that you light. Once it's lit and hot, then you can turn it on to the temperature that you want to use. Regular microwave. The fridge in these is all automatic as well. It'll run on propane and switch to electric when the electric's available. The one thing to watch on these fridge is for this check light. There's a small check light on here. If that light comes on, somehow the fridge went out. What you want to do is just turn it off, turn it back on, and that fridge will relight. They all have a separate freezer and a fridge. Not quite as big as your one at home, but a nice large size in an RV. And then in the back here, you've got your shower in the middle. Shower head has an on and an off so that you can save some water. The toilet has a foot flush. You just press the pedal to flush. And uh, there will be chemical and toilet paper under the sink in there for you. The bedroom, you also have the second bed slide, so you're just going to press out to slide that slide out. And just hold it down until it gets all the way out, just like you did the other slide. Once it's all the way out, you're ready to let go of the button, and now you have a walk-around king bed. All of our Class A FR3s have a king bed with a TV in the bedroom and extra storage in the bedroom as well. When you get ready to leave camp, all you're going to do is just the opposite. You're going to press these two one at a time. It doesn't like it if you do both at the same time. So press the uh, slide button and slide the slide back in. We'll just slide it in until it stops and let go. And then we'll slide the living room in until it stops and let go. And then you're ready to go camping. This is the FR3, the 25 and the 30. The one that we walked around today is the 30. 25 is very similar, but it has a dinette and a wardrobe. There's no sofa in the 30. Thanks for visiting B&B &B RV. Hope you have a great time on your trip.